What is up everyone? We are back today. It is all about the importance of smart goal setting, especially now the gyms are reopened. success all right hello everyone today's training plan was all about me improving on some of the moves i have put into my vision board which you will see at the end and helping me go through some of my smart goals so the first move is pull-ups now i want to get better at these again you've heard in the recent video to help me with my muscle ups as the pull-up is basically the starting move of that. Then the move you see on screen right now is a ring dip, and that is the second part of the muscle-up. So these two moves I need to improve on to get me to my goal of being able to do five muscle-ups. Now, the handstand push-ups you see are slowly getting better. Still struggling with keeping myself against the wall. Um, I can do quite a few in a row, but I seem to fall off like you see now. And uh, yeah, not in the most elegant style either. But my main goal for that is eventually to be able to do some handstand walks and hold a handstand longer than 10 seconds. So these kind of moves are gonna help me with shoulder stability and getting used to that movement. Now with pistols, they're quite a cool move. Um, I am working on getting better. As you see, I've got these shoes on I showed you in the last video, but still struggling a little, little bit. Um, mainly because I just tend to fatigue my legs out doing other workouts beforehand but I am working on my deficiencies to help improve that move and finally the wonderful single unders now I want to get better at skipping and so single unders is going to help me with that and eventually to be able to get under doing double unders uh, if you haven't heard me talk about it before eventually I do want to compete in a few CrossFit um, opens or CrossFit events and of course I need to get all the moves perfect before that happens so practice makes perfect or perfect practice makes perfect look at this dude <laughs> wait till you see the <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Hi guys, we are back again for another video and we have had some fantastic news this week. We have been told that gyms can finally reopen on the 25th, which officially, when recording this video, is two weeks ago today. So we're cheering on that one, right? And what I wanted to discuss with you guys today is something of importance when we are going back to the gym. So we need to make sure that when we go back, we have goals, right? And to be even more specific, we need to make sure we have SMART goals. So this is your acronym for you guys that don't know. So SMART stands for, it needs to be something specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and it needs to be timed. So remember when we are working towards goals that it's not usually because of a lack of effort, but it's usually because of how they've been structured. So that's again where the acronym of SMART will come into place and you'll be able to set your goals literally a lot smarter and you'll be able to get to them hopefully a little bit faster because you'll have a plan or a process or something to follow. So we're gonna discuss the first point in the acronym, which is being specific. And literally the question is, how specific is your goal? It sounds very vague, but an example would be, someone would come up to me and say, I wanted to lose weight versus someone coming up to me saying they wanted to lose 10 pounds. Now the specificness on in that is gonna help you keep on track. Um, and if it's less specific, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to measure and you're going to be a lot more motivated, let's say, motivated to want to achieve your goals 
if there is something specific to measure. Right, going into the second part of the acronym, which is measurable, and we can kind of define this by what determines success. So some goals, for instance, doing the free peak challenge would determine success through a simple yes or no. But reflecting back on the goal we said at the start, losing 10 pounds, it's a little bit more different. It's not a yes or no answer. It is literally buying a pair of scales or stepping on a pair of scales and watching that weight drop off. Alternatively, you could in fact change that goal to losing a certain waist and hip circumference if you don't have access to be weighing yourself. But if your goal really is to lose 10 pounds and having a set of scales definitely is one of the better ideas. Point number three is, is the goal achievable? You gotta ask yourself when you are setting this goal, will you be able to get to where you want to be? For instance, that 10 pounds of weight loss, is it achievable? It most likely is, but in some circumstances it might not be. So you might not have the resources or the physical or mental capabilities to help yourself achieve this level of success. For instance, um, if you set yourself a goal of doing 10 pull-ups and you don't have access to a pull-up bar anywhere, how on earth are you going to get to your goal? Because you won't be able to do the move, you won't be able to practice. But if we are going back to that goal of losing 10 pounds, it's a lot more achievable to lose success if you do have the right capabilities. But of course, if you can't, if you don't feel like that that is achievable, then you would have to decrease that weight goal to a little bit less. So you've got to ask yourself, is the goal realistic for point number four? You've got to understand that life will get in the way and it's important that you do have a balance and you don't overexcite yourself with unachievable goals um, when you do have this balance of life or the fact that you might have too many goals. And the reality of you having too many goals is that you've got too much to juggle on your plate and that you're, you're not gonna get where you want to be in time. So when you are setting this goal, ask yourself, is this 10 pounds realistic for myself right now? Or am I gonna be consuming too many calories? Uh, is work got a lot on for me at the minute? You know, if you're, if you're at work doing 12 hour shifts because after COVID-19 work's having to take off a little bit more then the reality of you getting in the gym after a 12 hour shift is just not gonna happen. But, you know, understand that balance when you are setting your goals and make it realistic as you can. The final goal is that every goal needs a time or else, you know, you're gonna lack motivation to wanna do it. You're not gonna help monitor your progression, but it's gonna help incentivize us to keep on track more than anything. So let's go back to that original goal of losing 10, 10 pounds. Now, re reality, a healthy way to lose weight is to lose one to two pounds per week. So ideally, because of that reality of life balance, you wanna set yourself that goal of losing 10 pounds in 10 weeks, as an example. And again, that's a perfect time on it. Obviously, some goals, you might not be unsure of like wanting to achieve 10 pull-ups. It might depend on where you're at right now, how much training you're doing. But again, you've got to understand that goals need to be set. And people like myself, trainers with a bit of experience, a bit of knowledge, will be able to help you in that field and sector. So to finish, I am going to take you through one of my goals for the year. And during COVID-19, I haven't been able to achieve this. But when I go back to the gym in two weeks, I'll be able to restart and set myself back up. So it is a goal of achieving five muscle ups by September the 28th, 2020. For you guys that don't know, that is my 25th birthday. So I've got a big goal that I want to achieve by then. Now, how do I know that this is, this is well, it, you can see it's specific. How do I know that this is measurable? Well, the measure is the number five. I want to be able to hit five. Okay, so how is it achievable? Now, to do a muscle up, a lot of people would say that you need to be able to do 10 pull ups and 10 tricep dips because that's the move combined basically a pull up into a tricep dip. And I can already do both of those. So all I need to work on is my technique and transition from the pull to the push, which I've given myself a big leeway of you know just under three months to be able to achieve that 
So achieving five shouldn't be a problem when I'm including them in my new program when I go back to the gym twice a week and I'll be working on my upper body strength. Uh, and of course the time uh, is my birthday so it's one going to motivate me to want to do it more and two it's you know nearly three months away so it should be a lot better to do. So here is my vision board which I would recommend everybody to do. They're a great way of keeping on track of what you want and we are six months into the year so it's a great time to do so. Here's my health category and you can see the muscle ups and pistol squats, headstands all in there. The headstands and pistol squats I have already achieved but we are going, going to go into some more handstand work. Pistols need to perfect and muscle ups we are so close but I am keeping myself on track with that. Okay. To finish off today's video, I'm going to show you one of my Wednesday workouts, which, as you know, is one of my longer workouts. As you see on the left hand side of the screen, it's a workout called Bert, another hero wad. Now, we changed it up slightly. I do want to improve my running, as you guys already know. So, we changed the run from I believe it was 400 meters to one kilometer for each run. So, we're getting that long distance in. Now the workout itself, I would recommend to try it. It's tough on the legs, especially more than anything. But you know, it was a good laugh. Me and my friend did it. We motivated each other and we stuck together throughout the whole workout. And as you can see from the exercises I'm doing, I am being very specific about technique and getting correct depth involved with every move, as well as trying to reinforce that to my friend. And again, that falls back into the equation of, you know, improving range of motion and getting full lengthening of the muscles when working as well as stretching. But again, thank you. If you have managed to stick to this side of the video, please like, comment, subscribe and pass the information on to your friends, family, people who you know involved with training that setting up yourself with a goal is important and you can always comment down below if you need a little bit of extra support and instagram page as follows keeping everything up to date with what i'm doing but for you guys that have managed to stick till the end i've got a little surprise for you here's a little uh, funny bonus clip of what happened this weekend but again thank you all for watching Great success.